Hello YouTube, Sweet MC Gamer here, and today I'm back with another mod installation tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Too Many Items mod for Minecraft 1.6.1, the brand new update. Um, so yeah, it just got updated there um, very recently, but I will say one thing before I start this uh, tutorial. The creator of the mod does note that it does not work with Minecraft Forge, okay? So if you have Forge already installed in your 1.6, or I don't think it is updated to 1.6 even yet, but if you... What if you're planning to install Forge later on? Do not install this mod because it's not it does not it's not compatible with Minecraft Forge. Okay, so once you know that now, you can go ahead and download the mod. Just click download for Minecraft 1.6.1 right there, and uh, this will bring you to a ad fly. Up in the top right hand corner, you have to wait a few seconds, and then just press skip ad. Okay, so once you press that, um. You should get a download that looks like this. Just drag it out into your um, onto your desktop so it's easier to use. And um, first off, we're just going to run the Minecraft the new launcher to make sure everything is okay. So if you've already got the new launcher and you're playing on 1.6 and you've no mods installed, you've no nothing to worry about. And um, as you can see, profile is default. So I'm just going to edit this. I'm just going to call it Minecraft 1.6.1. So I know exactly what's going on. It's going to use the latest version, and then um, I'm going to save that, okay? So that's all you need, that's all you want, the brand new version of Minecraft, and not have any mods on it or anything. So once you have all that, you can leave this, and we'll come back to this later. So now we want to go to the Windows icon, and in the search bar, type percentage mark, app, data, percentage mark. So that's a percentage mark, A-P-P-D-A-T-A, -A, percentage mark. And just click enter. This will bring you to your roaming file, and in the roaming file you should see .minecraft. You want to go inside the .minecraft. So here, there should be a few folders, and um, we're going to look for the folders called versions, okay? It should be the last one, if you have a brand new Minecraft. So, versions. So you want to go inside the versions folder. Now in here, there should be a folder called 1.6.1, .1, if that's the only one you have downloaded. So um, what you want to do is right-click that, copy, paste underneath it. Okay, and you want to rename this folder. Okay, so you have to rename the new folder that you just made. Um, no spaces, rename it whatever you want. I'm going to call it modded, M-O-D-D-E-D, -O -O -D -D -E -D, modded. Okay, you can call it whatever you want. So once you've called it uh, modded or whatever, go inside it, and there'll be two files in here. A jar file, which is our, like, minecraft.jar, and a jasno file. Okay, I'll show you what to do with that now in a second. But you'll want to rename both of these as well. So make sure you rename these fo files as well to exactly the same thing. Ooh, shit! Uh, to exactly the same thing we called the called the first file. Okay, so I'm going to call my modded because that's the word I used. So I'm just going to rename this one as well. M O D D E D modded. Okay. So now that we've both renamed both files, you want to open the Jasno file. Okay, but um, if it won't open for some reason, go right click properties and open with, change that to notepad, okay, so notepad, you have to open it with, with notepad, so once, you, once you've once you done that, you should open it with notepad, no problem, for some reason my notepad puts all the right, writing to the right, like across the page, instead of down the page, so you might have a full page of writing, but for, my, for mine goes across the page, okay, so it doesn't really matter, but um, what we're looking for is right here at the top, you should see 1.6.1 .1 in like two little apostrophes, um, so, or not brackets, but yeah, two little like apostrophes either side. You wanna call, you wanna put the word that you've called the other folders in there as well. So you have to rename that as well. Okay, so make sure you put whatever you did the other to the other folders and files in there as well. So um, and make sure it's inside the two apostrophes. And once you've done that, just exit out of it and click save. Now you wanna open uh, your Minecraft.jar or your executable jar file. So right click open with WinRAR or 7-zip, whichever archiving program you use. And um, now we want to delete the meta INF folder. Okay, so delete the meta INF. And now we can open too many mod too many items, sorry. So open too many items. Right click select all. Drag and drop. Press OK. Okay? So that's all you have to do. Um, now, there is one other thing we have to do in our Minecraft here, so I'll show you what that is now in a second. Okay, so what you're going to have to do now is you're going to have to go edit profile, okay? See where it says um, 
you want to click game directory the first little box you want to click that one says game directory use version you want to go down to release 1.6 modded okay you want to use that version that's the folder we just made with the mod installed okay so that's the one you want to use see the way it says use version 1.6.1 modded okay click save and now it should say up here version release 1.6.1 modded okay it's up to date and now we can just click play and the mod should be working okay so i just go into a single player world here really quickly now i will say one thing before i did this i did this late earlier on and there's a little glitch with the mod i think it is with the actual mod is a little glitched and um, i'm not sure if the creator knows this or whatever but as you can see up the top here these are all pink now i don't know why and uh, maybe it is my minecraft it might work perfect for you but for me it's they're all pink but the mod is working perfectly as you can see i have all the stuff here i can spawn in whatever the hell i want and just click a load of shite but um like for some reason they're all pink and i know it's a bit annoying but you can still use the mod you know what I mean? This you can still set difficulty, and you can it says what you need to do all there. So if you use the mod before, there's no worries. Like, but it's just I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's only for me. Um, but if if you get this problem as well, don't worry too much about it. I think it's just a problem with the mod. I I don't think the creator has seen it yet. Maybe he has. Maybe I don't know. But um, yeah. So guys, that's 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 just a little glitch with the mod. I think so. Don't worry too much about that. But the mod does work perfectly, as you can see. We have all our save stuff there, and um, all our like blocks and everything, all this kind of crap over here. So um, yeah. So guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope um, this helped you, uh, ha ha helped you to install mods for Minecraft 1.6. And um, if it did, please hit the like button. That well appreciated. And subscribe for as mo more videos as well, guys. More 1.6 videos. I'm going to do plenty of them. So yeah guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.